According to a new study, people separated from their cell phones suffer mental breakdowns. Researchers had them solve puzzles while placing their iPhones further away. Those unable to answer their device had huge jumps in anxiety, heart rate, and blood pressure. Conclusion, without your phones, we're finished. Perhaps, but whatever anxiety you experience merely trumps real concerns. After all, a security blanket is what you hug when you have nothing else to hug. Leaving home without your phone is like leaving home without your pants, a feeling I'm more than familiar with. The anxiety is born from two made up stresses, the fear that you are missing out on something like nuclear war or a cat video, and a fear of isolation. It speaks to a mutation of priorities. Inundated by disposable crap treated equally by our synapses, we replaced thought with distraction. In the good old days, our lives were three concentric circles. They, you had you, you had your family, and you had your community. Cell phones pollute such structures, secreting hundreds of daily intruders. Pointless trivia, celebrity tweets, unnecessary texts, temporary outrages, adorable ferret videos. Which is fine. We're living much longer, after all, and we need to fill this 80-year bucket with something. Especially when what we used to fill it with, work, family, responsibility, seems so quaint, so silly. It's why even real outrage these days over terror, for example, quickly dissipates. A Boko Haram massacre, it lasts a day, but a cat video, that lasts forever. <laughs> all right, Dan, I'm going to go to you. How okay. long can you go without your phone? Well... I, in researching this, I tried to think about the last time I left my phone, and I can't think of one, really. Yeah. I'm guilty. You are guilty? I don't know. Do you feel I, weird, like you're missing a limb? I, but I, also, I feel proud of myself sometimes. Like, if, on a Sunday, if we're going to go for a walk, um, mm. and I'll say, I'm leaving my phone. Uh, it's like some like, big sacrifice. So yes. I, I'm not proud of myself tonight. Yeah. Eric, I feel that way when I walk from one side of my apartment to the other without my phone. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yes. Keep looking back. Quite an achievement sure on my right part. It's right over there where you left it? Yes. I get the stress when my uh, power level gets mm. maybe around a quarter yes. left. I was like, uh, this is going to be a problem. I'm yeah. trying to figure out where the next place I'm going to be able to charge the phone. I once went away to um, the Bahamas. The Bahamas, I think. Yeah, it's and in I Texas. didn't know, right? The Bahamas, Texas. <laughs> and I didn't know that I that I was going to lose cell service uh -oh. and for yeah. four days. I couldn't get cell service. I couldn't figure out how, how to get Bahamas tell yeah. to open up my data and, and my cell service. And about the second day, I realized. I'm not going to get this. It was torturous. Yeah. Was but then, torturous. but don't you no, cross I a never, point where you're like, oh, no, that feels so good. I never good. got over it. I, and, no. I, and I told my wife, I just please don't take me to that place again. Let's never go there again. <laughs> where does this anxiety come from, Bob? I don't have it. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I will say this at this table now. Every there's one person who doesn't have a phone here, and that would be me. Now. Why? Because you left it somewhere. No, it's in my pocket. <laughs> but I don't. But I don't. What need do you it. mean? Mine's I, charging. You know, you don't, when I've lost them, which have been three or four times. It's been because I can't have my contact list, so I can't touch space with people. But outside of that, I don't look at it. I don't look at Twitter. I don't look at anything. In case all you people tell me there's nasty Twitter, once in a while I look at it. But it's it just doesn't. I don't. I don't get where you guys. You guys are glued to these. Things. I think it's generational. I, I do. I, got, well, okay. I think that like, be like Ronan, Kimberly's son will grow up. This will just be a part of his world. So maybe he won't have high anxiety because mm -hmm. it won't be different. Well, he was panicking last night, worried about that someone, ch his friend Teddy, changed his code on his phone. and He was trying to get back into it. And he's like, I want to set up the thumbprint to be able to get in. But I mean, they're used to it. I mean, he knows more about the phones these days than I do. You know, they grow up with it. But uh, I don't know. I don't see how we're going to limit or lower our you know, dependency on it. I don't how know. long, it could, you be without, how long it, could you be without your phone? You think? She hit on a right, the right break. word, Is it a no, dependency? Break. Is it an addiction? I think it's just like, it's just it like, is, yeah. a, it's just now something you can't do without. I don't know if it's an addiction. No, it is an addiction. I think it is. Sure. I had that, uh, it's become very when, remember when I went to Mercy Ships, um, mm -hmm. there was a, a neurosurgeon there from San Diego. He was volunteering on the ship, and he was telling us that in his research, that he d has shown that it, it, you get like a yes. little thrill every time you yeah. see that there's a message. We did like that message. topic on this show not yeah, a year ago. Yeah, I think we did. Yeah. The other thing, too, you know what? I developed this thing. I call it cellulosis. Do you ever have the urge to grab somebody's phone out of the hand and hurl it? <laughs> I have that like every, when somebody, like I'll be in the theater, somebody's next to me. I want to grab it and I want to throw it. Like if they're texting on it? Yes. Especially if they have their iPhone clicked I trust me, I just want to grab it. Wasn't there a case where a guy... Kevin Williamson yeah. did it, right? No, no down no, in the movie theater. In front of but don't, Kevin Williamson did it at a, on, on, uh, on Broadway, Broadway at a, during a theater. Isn't cellulite what you don't want to have growing on your back of your skin? <laughs> that's no, uh, seriously. That's well, cellulite. Yes, that's true, Bob. How did that happen? All right, I was trying to figure out what you were talking about. I said cellulosis. I okay. just made up a word. Okay. Like I always do. Ahead.